bulletin from CBS News in Dallas, Texas. Three shots were fired at President Kennedy's motorcade in downtown Dallas. Three reports say that President Kennedy has been seriously wounded in the shooting. It has not been confirmed that he's dead yet, but bystanders have said he's dead. We have a paper that is scrolling. Oh, it has been confirmed that JFK is dead. See if that's shown in the paper. Excuse me, just give me a minute, sorry. Uh, it seems that another paper is flown in. Apparently, there's a video of the shooting. Some bystander must have gotten it on video. As you can see right now, President Kennedy is turning onto Elm Street, greeting this wonderful crowd in Dallas. Oh, he's been shot in the neck! It came from the school book depository building! Another fatal shot! Oh, he's spinning off! Oh my god! <laughs> Thank you for joining us again after a very horrific video after watching our president uh, get assassinated. It was a very sad day for America, but uh, today we will discuss the evidence of what we think happened. And today I'm joined by a very prestigious colleague. Well, so now we'll run through the evidence which we have been given by a very trusted source, and uh, I'll say off right off the bat, uh, many witnesses that were at that day uh, on Elm Street said that they heard gunshots echoing. And since the, the uh, bullet wound was bigger in the back of the head, that also means that the entering wound came from the uh, the front, and the book depository was behind it, so it doesn't make any sense. It must have. Many sources the that are stating that the CAA was very angry with Kennedy of the lack of use of them, and also trying to get out of Vietnam. <clears throat> so what we are saying is that we think that the CIA planned this. Also, we've heard that witnesses said that the shot came from an upward angle, meaning that if the shot did come from the Grassy Knoll or Texas Book Depository, it wouldn't have come from an upward angle. It would have came downward. So, meaning that the shot must have come from the sewer. We have these last facts stating that the CIA did plan this out and had very much knowledge of this assassination even to go as so far as training these shooters and having multiple shooters. Not only having it set up by the sewer, but also in different places. We also have figured out the sewer was the best spot to take the shot. It was on a perfect angle, not too far left or too far right. So as you can clearly see here, here is our evidence that a man climbed down the drain and was able to get the fatal headshot on JFK. As you can see, he was obviously struggling because it took him about 20 to 30 minutes just to get into this little uh, sewer system to take the fatal blow and kill our beloved president. And then multiple of the shooters were part of this conspiracy plan. And uh, folks, that is all the evidence that we have. I know that they have stated that Lee R. Harvey Oswald had did it, but we have it here today that he did not. Um, thank you for joining us again. Somebody and thank you once time. told me the <laughs> world is gonna roll me. I ain't the sharpest tool in the shed. She was looking kind of dumb with her finger and her thumb in the shape of an L.